Hi guys, how are you? Today we are trying a 3D quilt block for the very first time. It is called a tumbling quilt block. And it is one of those that when you look at it the first time, it looks really difficult and really scary. But once you get the hang of it, you know, once you start doing it, it's actually a piece of cake. <laughs> I have to say, I really do think this one will blow your mind, let me tell you. Let's get to it. Now, in a traditional tumbling quilt block, you would need three strips of different fabrics and to actually know how to make a Y-shaped seam, you know, the one that goes like this, like this. <laughs> but this is the quick and easy version because that is what we do around here and because I like quick and easy that looks really hard work and difficult. So we will need two strips of fabric from three different fabrics, so six strips in total. You will also need a ruler that marks 60 degree angles, you know, just like this one. See it here, the 60 degree? Or a 60 degree angle ruler if you happen to have one, which I don't. So I will be using my regular ruler for this one. Regular ruler. Man, that's hard. <laughs> okay, so we're essentially splitting these fabrics into two pieces. The first piece is one wide, three inch wide strip and two and a half inch strips of blue fabric. And the second piece is one white three inch strip, just like the first one, and two two and a half inch strips of red fabric. Now the length of the fabric really depends on how many blocks you're making. You know, the longer the strip, the more blocks you will be able to make. Mine right here are about 16, 18 inches. They kind of vary, you know, but give or take. Now you can totally pick your fabrics, of course. You don't have to use the exact same colors I'm using, but there are, you know, a couple of rules. <laughs> So when you're picking your lighter fabric, which in my case is the white one, you do want it to be a solid fabric, okay? No patterns. And it will just make your life so much easier. <laughs> and I will explain why in a bit, okay? Just keep that in mind. Other than that, you just need, you know, a medium fabric and a darker one, okay? And this is important because the dark is what gives the shade that grants that 3D look to it, you know, that makes you think, hmm, this is 3D. If you pick two light, light fabrics or two medium fabrics or two dark fabrics, it just won't make the same, the same effect, okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, so now we sew these strips together and we are using a quarter of an inch foot, let me show you, a quarter of an inch foot for this, you know, with a little guide right here. Okay, so now we sew the strips together like so, with the white strip always in the middle for both cases, okay? Now, angles can be a little tricky and I get how scary they look. Heck, I have been known to ruin a couple of perfectly good quilt blocks due to bad angles. But trust me when I say that the moment you get how to do it, it is smooth sailing from then on. And seams are very important for this project. We need to press them properly so they won't get in the way later on. Okay, here we go, pressing those seams and making it all nice and straight because guys, what comes next is all that angle cutting we need to do. So first very important thing we need to know, we will be cutting two pieces in opposite directions. Let me show you what I mean. First, we trim the top, giving it the 60 degree angle we talked about. Okay, so we need to line this line with something that will guide us in this block, okay? So it could be this one. Yeah, this line actually looks great. You see, I am lining the 60 degree line with this one. So I know that this is a 60 degree angle. 60 degrees. So now that we have our angle, we are going to cut two and a half inch pieces like so. So two and a half, going once, now the size of these pieces depend of course on the original size of the strips we cut, which were two and a half inches, right? Had we chosen a larger or a smaller size, these pieces would also be larger or smaller. And for our block today, we are cutting five of each piece. Now when we're cutting these pieces, we have to make sure to check every few pieces if the angle is still the 60 degree angle we need and correct if necessary, of course. So let's check, let's see, are we still good? Mm, kinda. So now that we're back to 60, let's keep doing it. Three. Four, 
over. And then we repeat this step with the second piece in the opposite direction as I've mentioned. Again, making sure that the 60 degree angle always stays in place. For the other one, we did like this, right? This one, we'll do like that. So our 60 degree line is here. We are going to line it up to this seam. And then we are going to start cutting. Now, two and a half inch pieces all the way to the end. Okay guys, we are not done with our cutting yet because this step is what will make it easier for us to make the tumbling quilt block and why our white fabric is half an inch wider than the other two fabrics. We are cutting the white part of our strips in half in a, you guessed it, 60 degree angle. <laughs> Essentially, this white part will become a triangle. Let's do this. We just lean this here, okay, and you cut there. Now we need to cut it like this. So our 60 degree line is right here. And we line it up. And then we cut. Like this. See why it was so important to have the seams all straight? This is why. Okay, now that we're done cutting all these tiny pieces, guess what? It's time for our puzzle. And this one, let me tell you, may just be the funnest fabric puzzle I've ever made. I mean, we are making 3D cubes. How cool is that? Here we go. Now, these blocks all need to be the same, okay? The dark fabric on one side, the medium fabric on the other side. Even if you decide to make several different cubes, you know, like use different fabrics for each cube, the darker side always needs to be on the same side because that's what provides shade for our cube, you know, what gives it that 3D feel to it. And you see how we're joining the white fabric back into our diamond shape? If we were to pick a pattern fabric, the break in the pattern would show, you know, the seam would show, and you would be able to see it was sewn together. With a solid, you'll barely notice it. And this is our puzzle, 3D cubes as promised. How cool is this? I'm very proud of my cubes, let me tell you. Next step is the sewing. Well, the chain piece sewing is usual to make this quicker. We sew our pairs together until there aren't any left and then we go back and sew them into their proper place like we've done so many times over the last few weeks. And while we sew, I could really use your opinion actually. You know, just the other day I was looking at all the blocks we've made together lately and all the blocks I intend on making in the near future and I started to think, you know, what am I supposed to do with these blocks? Another sample quilt? Lots of pin cushions? Little hamster beds? Cat pillows? I have no idea. So if you have any suggestion for me, please leave me a comment below letting me know what I should do with all these. <laughs> you know, I could really use your help. Okay, and we are done with the sewing. Okay guys, this next stage is going to hurt a little. I know because it hurts me every time I have to cut into something I have just sewn. I mean, what a waste. I feel that, you know, if we're not gonna keep this up, if we're not gonna keep making more cubes and turn it into like a blanket or a quilt or a pillow, we may as well trim this into a square and make it a proper quilt block. Let's just trim this and see how it goes. <laughs> So let's do that. First, we press and then chop chop.
And that's it, our tumbling quilt block, our 3D cubes are done and looking awesome. Quick and easy as promised and not a Y seam in sight. I absolutely love it and feel so proud of it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed making this with me and I'll see you for our next video. Bye bye!